So for this video, our question is asking us to describe, with graph transformations, how the graph f of x is equal to x minus 2 squared plus 5 relates to the graph of the parent function g of x is equal to x squared. So this problem is just pretty much asking us, so if we know a little bit of information about the graph x squared, all right, and we take a look at the equation they gave us, x minus 2 squared plus 5. They want us to tell them what is the difference between the two graphs. From x squared to x minus 2 squared plus 5, what's the difference? How is it shifted? What's going on between it? So in order to describe the difference that's going on here, we do need to be aware of uh, a little bit of the information about parabolas specifically talking about a parabola in standard form. So over here I have the equation for a parabola in standard form. So what we need to be aware of when looking at the formula is a couple of things here. The A represents a stretch in the graph. Um, is it getting skinnier or is it getting fatter? Uh, H right here, so the number inside the parentheses along with X, represents a horizontal shift in the graph. So it's a movement left or right. And the K back over here represents a vertical shift in the graph. So how it's moving up or down. So if we take a look at the graph that we're given, f of x is equal to x minus 2 squared plus 5, we don't have anything in front of the parentheses, so we don't have this a over here that represents a stretch. So that's not happening with our graph here. We do have a number inside the parentheses, and we do have a number outside the parentheses, so that represents the h and the k. So we do have a horizontal shift, we do have a vertical shift. What we need to be aware of the number inside the parentheses. So this says x minus 2. So our brain wants to tell us, hey, that's going to move negative 2, or it's going to move 2 in the negative direction. But inside the parentheses, because the negative is actually part of the formula, we ignore that negative and just go with the 2. An easier way to remember it in your brain is just do the opposite sign of what it says. And this only applies to the H, to inside the parentheses. If it says minus 2, we move to the right 2. Had that said positive 7, we would move left 7. All right, so it's a horizontal shift, so it's going left or right based off of that number. So since it says minus 2, I know that that represents a shift two units to the right. Okay. Then we also have this plus five over here on the outside of the parentheses. Now outside of the parentheses, a plus means a plus, a minus means a, a minus. So we need to remember inside the parentheses is movement left or right, outside the parentheses is a movement up or down. Since that says plus five, that means we are going to shift five units up. Right, it's plus 5, it's positive 5, so we're going up 5. So if we know what x squared looks like, we would take this graph and shift it 2 times to the right and 5 times up. Otherwise, that's the transformation that's going on between these two. Otherwise, that's it for this video.